From an early age, my mother told me story was going to be my power, that we were connected to the world and we had to see its meaning and we had to imbue the world with meaning because, you know, an eagle really is your brother and the mountain really was a story before it became a mountain and we brought language to the world and imbued it with meaning and we are part of that legacy. But it was so hard to retain that as a welfare kid, you know? It was hard to retain that on a reserve where we would go to school and open up our textbooks and see that we were only relics on a history page of people who were not brutally colonized, but people who just simply no longer exist anymore. And the narrative was that we were weak. The narrative was there was a victor. And seeing that story perpetuated in the real world, you know, and then in my own community, trying to retain the profundity of our natures as human beings was very difficult. So I went to uh, college and I ended up kind of transcending my experiences. And in the workshop, I would write stories about indigenous women who had sexual bravado and were interesting. Um, and people would read them and they would say, this told me so much about your culture. <laughs> and I would think, I'm not making a tourist like brochure. I'm not, I'm not making a history book. I'm telling you a story. I'm trying to impart the story of my life. And I realized, um, the narrative of our, of our existence as indigenous people um, has been erased, like our stories. So we must come here and tell it, you know, and we trust you on this bridge of my story to come in as my friend and not a voyeur, you know? And so before I wrote the book, really wrote the book, um, I thought I needed an in to this book because if I wrote it wrong, it would be received as a quintessential native text about a culture or it would tell you something about native women and I'm just one story. I think that's difficult, but I think the more we tell it and the more space we give to each other, I actually really think that's the power of story. I mean, what else strikes us but the own narrative of our lives? the person we want to become, the happy ending we need, or the idea that the other shoe's coming and we hope uh, it's not the climax of our book. We hope it's, it's like the denouement and everything's gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, I would just ask that we really just hold each other up and lift up each other's stories and understand that um, we don't need to maltreat each other anymore. Thank you. Thank you.